I do think that Tesla takes the cake in terms of the app experience and the in-car experience. Agreed. Now, to be fair, like you mentioned, I don't daily drive the Lucid, so I can't speak to a, a really intimate experience with that system. But just from my initial experience, it just felt like everybody else's infotainment and tech uh, in the industry. want to cover now on a very important topic, which is full self-driving versus the Dream Drive Pro. So the Model X has FSD, and as of almost November 2025, it's included in the Lux package that comes with the Model X. The FSD, now I've gotten the opportunity to test to use Hardware 3 and Hardware 4, which is the, the latest version, and Hardware 4 is, is really impressive. I mean, again, it's, it's door-to-door style navigation. From what I understand, I didn't get a chance to use Dream Drive Pro, but Dream Drive Pro is not door-to-door navigation. It's, there's multiple levels of autonomous driving, and it's more akin to level two autonomous driving, which means that it's gonna help you change lanes on the highway. It's gonna help keep your pace for things like adaptive cruise control. Uh, lane lane assist, right? But it's not going to get you door to door. And so I, I, I really truly feel like when you're getting the Model X, you're kind of super proofing yourself in a way for this world that is already here, which is full self-driving capability. 